Wireless telecom is one of the most rapidly changing industries. Let's explore some of the most important trends to watch over the next few years. First, global demand for data continues increasing. In emerging markets, the base of connected consumers continues to grow given the low overall penetration. India's smartphone penetration was less than 40% in 2019 compared to over 80% in the UK. Given India's population, this represents another 500 million potential wireless customers, with each additional customer requiring more data from the country's network operators. Developed markets have much higher smartphone penetration, but are still seeing mobile data usage per user growing substantially, increasing 50% each year for the past five years. This is largely driven by video streaming. As OTT video streaming services replaced traditional TV, online video grew to account for about 70% of the world's internet traffic, and much of this is viewed on mobile devices. This is expected to increase even further as higher definition content becomes the norm. With data usage growing in both emerging and developed markets, some estimates forecast the world will consume 20 times more data by 2030. To support that growing demand, wireless networks around the globe are transitioning to 5G technology. At its full potential, a 5G network offers three big upgrades over the current 4G networks. Faster data speeds, up to 100 times that of 4G, more capacity with up to a million devices per square kilometer, and lower latency. However, even though many major network operators advertise having upgraded to nationwide 5G networks, multiple barriers are still keeping us from experiencing the full potential of 5G. First, there are different types of 5G connections, depending on what parts of the frequency band they're utilizing. Much of the recent network upgrades have been for low to mid-frequency 5G capabilities. While this gives some improvement over 4G, the transformational change of 5G lies in the high-frequency 5G capabilities that are still being invested in by network operators. Second, the higher frequencies that 5G uses have more difficulty traveling through environmental barriers, such as buildings. Reliable 5G connections would require far more transmission points, especially in densely populated areas. For the foreseeable future, customers should expect to use a mix of 4G and 5G connections. Finally, moving consumers to 5G requires consumers to upgrade to 5G-enabled mobile devices. While most new devices sold are 5G-enabled, the vast majority of smartphones already present in the market are not. Upgrading the entire populace will be a slow process over the course of many years, which will thereby slow the process of upgrading customers to higher revenue 5G plans. Given these barriers, Experts estimate that only 25% of the global population will have full high-frequency 5G coverage by 2030. And that will still require over $700 billion in additional investments. However, once the full potential of 5G is operational, it will enable other advanced technologies, like the Internet of Things and edge computing. Let's look at the impact that these two technologies could have. The Internet of Things refers to the growing network of Internet-connected objects that are able to create and transmit data without human intervention. This includes innumerable chips and sensors embedded in devices outside of the typical office or factory, everything from smart appliances in homes to sensors in farming equipment. These sensors can send their data to the cloud for processing at centralized data centers, or they can instead send them to nearby storage devices to be filtered and processed before being sent on. This is known as edge computing. Together with the speed, capacity, and latency of 5G networks, these technologies will serve as the backbone for entirely new industries. One big example is self-driving cars. These cars will each be connected to the 5G network, sending and receiving real-time data over the Internet, as well as directly to fellow cars and other network-connected infrastructure, such as traffic lights, parking meters, and parking garages. These moving vehicles will require ultra-fast reacting connections and cannot risk being disconnected, so computing would need to happen in the car itself. This and many other new industries will exponentially increase the number of IoT devices in the world, which are expected to reach 25 billion by 2025. The big question is what role network operators will play in this space going forward. Will they partner with other tech giants purely as a connectivity partner, or will they make the investments required to play a more significant role? 
Either way, these advanced technologies will bring with them new cybersecurity threats. With each new technology, cybersecurity becomes more complex to manage. Devices with 5G technology may be able to get around cybersecurity solutions designed for 4G networks, while the expanding Internet of Things leads to exponentially more connected devices for hackers to connect through. Massive cybersecurity investments will be required before these technologies can be fully adopted across all industries, especially those handling sensitive information, such as healthcare. While this may slow the adoption of these new technologies at first, it also represents an opportunity for network operators to grow their offerings of cybersecurity services.